Now that we know how to differentiate log x, and the result is 1 over x, this opens up a whole new range of functions that we are able to differentiate through um, something that's going to come through the chain rule. Okay, so a consequence of the chain rule. So, let's say I wrote down the example y is equal to log of e to the 3x plus 2 sin x uh, minus x cubed. Okay, and I wanted to differentiate this. Now, I've written down something that looks absolutely horrible for a reason. Okay, because I want to show you how easy it is to differentiate it. So we're going to use the chain rule because we have this horrible looking function of x within a function of x. Okay, and I know I can differentiate each of those pieces well enough. So we're going to use the chain rule. So u is going to be e to the 3x plus 2 sine x minus x cubed. And so I'm left with y is equal to log of u. So differentiating u with respect to x, I would get 3e to the 3x plus 2 cos x, sine differentiates to cos, minus 3x squared. Okay? And then if I differentiate y with respect to u, I would get the 1 over u. So dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx. So I would have 3e to the 3x plus 2 cos x minus 3x squared multiplied by the 1 over u, which would just be this over u. But remember, u was this bit here. So I can replace that u with e to the 3x plus 2 sin x minus x cubed. And so what I find, and this is what it's going to be in general, is that the function that was within the logarithm is in the denominator, and its derivative is in the numerator. So if I then went about replacing, so let's say I'm just looking at, uh, what should we have? Let's say I'm just looking at y is equal to a function of x. And then I set, well, u can be that function of x. Then du by dx is f prime of x, so the derivative of x. So dy by dx is dy by du times by du by dx, which is f prime x over u, and u was f of x. So if you're differentiating log of f of x, the derivative is f prime over f. So this is a very useful thing to know. Because now, if I had something like y is equal to log of, um, let's say, 4x plus 3, a nice simple one, then dy by dx is the derivative of 4x plus 3, which is 4, over 4x plus 3. Okay? So if I then said, well, y is equal to log of sine x, then dy by dx is the derivative of sine x, which is cos x, over sine x. So the derivative log of sine x is cos x over sine x. And so because of this, this very quick way of being able to differentiate logs or functions of x, we then have a consequence for integration, because if the derivative of log of f of x is f prime of x over f of x, then the integral of f prime over f will be log of f of x. So if you can spot that what you're integrating has a numerator where the numerator is the derivative of the denominator, then this integral is equal to log of f of x. Of course, you'd have this plus c on the end as well. So this is something that we're going to be incorporating into 
uh, integration when we get to that later on.